But then those other names right there, Scott Blakely, Leanne Wong, Jordan Childs, very much in the mix, not only for the podium here, but also to make the World Championship team. And there is a World Selection camp that will take place to decide those names. There's a lot on the line, Terry, and not to mention they're really proving to the selection committee that they have the confidence and the consistency to last in a long weekend. She's the best in the world and back in a big way. Simone Biles starting on vault. That's called a Chung vault. She did that on night one, but we are just going to see her do this vault here in tonight's competition. She nearly stuck the vault on night one, has stung her ankles just a bit. You see the tape on her ankles here that wasn't there on night one. They're playing it safe, and of course you would. It's Simone Biles, and she's just as good with this vault. Sam, going for a record eighth U.S. all-around title just continues to amaze in every one of the events, but especially right here. That's really what she's known for. She is pushing the boundaries, and you can check it out from her hand placement on the vault table. She is so meticulous when she goes to wrap her arms into twist, and she's like a cat. She lands every single time in perfect position. So the leader after night one of these national championships those scores carry over to day two and Simone adding to her total 9.25 for execution 1485 is the number for Simone Biles as we are underway in San Jose and now getting set to go on uneven bars. After night one, she's ranked third on this event, which is impressive to me because she doesn't have the most amount of difficulty, but her execution really helps her rank high on this event. You can tell her style is quick, it's dynamic. for that but you see her take a deep breath there she does just fly through that routine she though. Does. you can't blink you can't look away and I think sometimes we need to watch this bar routine in slow motion because you can't appreciate how difficult when she goes so fast Here's the slow-mo we're talking about, Terry. So she missed this slightly. You want to see her finish the twist in a vertical handstand. She moved through that position. That was the most significant deduction I saw in this routine. Of course, it's not as much of a fall. It's not that big of a deduction, but when we're talking about Simone Biles, she's a perfectionist and it's gonna be thinking about that after this routine. I agree with you on the slow motion replays, by the way, on that and on vault especially, because she is in positions in the air where you, wait, can I see that again? Slow it down. I need to see where she is so high off the ground and off the table in vault and then on bars. It's so tough. I, I mean, I'm an expert in the sport and I enjoy watching her in slow-mo. You know, it's funny you mentioned her, her start value, Sam. Doesn't have quite the start value. Well, just to put that in perspective, she equaled the second highest start value on bars in night one, which is which is amazing. Now, there were some mistakes from other athletes, which may push her down, but it just kind of puts it in perspective on even her weakness is pretty darn good. Yep, exactly. It's the number four, Simone Biles, just over 14. And here she goes. dynamic connections to start this routine off and similar to how we saw her do bars it's the same on beat she has a quicker rhythm you're going to notice nice job had a little mistake on that night one but no problems tonight Skill. You know, you see all the cameramen standing there on the side, and that really adds to your mental toughness effect there. She even showed a camera in her dance 
You can't train with cameras in the gym, so this is good practice. Huge full in dismount. It doesn't matter. On podium, without training that many months, people in the audience, the camera clicking sounds, she is so tough. Away from competition for nearly two years, and she told her coaches, I think I'm in better shape now than I was in 2021, mentally and physically, both. And we're seeing that. She's really being bold and loud about how she's taking care of herself outside of the gym, and you're really seeing the positive effects here. Her coaches say that she's competing and training much more calm and serene than she did prior. So Laurent Landy taping the ankle, we mentioned that early on, perhaps the reason that she changed her vault. You know, on the landing, night one, your Chanko double pike, because no other woman in the world does, so did a different one tonight, but tape back on. And it doesn't look like it's affecting her on any of the other events, so chances are is they're being extra cautious, and of course you would because it's Simone Biles. Only four inches wide. I know, that always gets me. That Three beam. times around. And look, the only thing on the beam are her toes and the ball of her foot. That's a tough move. Handspring, layout, layout. Triple series is what we call it. She does a nice job getting her chest up, even though her front heel was off the beam. Finishes, tuck pull in. She has a more difficult vault that she's competed before, but I guess, quote unquote, playing it safe to her with just a difficult pull in. It's going to be a big number for Simone Biles. Does she ever leave you not shaking your head in I, amazement? I, Terry, I'm struggling to come up with words to describe just how amazing she is that are different and incredible and really just describe her effect on the gymnastics world and sports in general. Solidly in first place, trying to wrap up her eighth all-around title. She already is ranked first on this event coming into night two. But if there's one critique, she had one out of bounds. So that's a tenth she could gain back today. You just don't want it to end. They don't want it to end. You just want the routine to keep going. This is a standing ovation. It's never happened in gymnastics, but I wonder if there could be an encore here. I don't know if Simone <laughs> would agree to that, but pretty exciting for everybody here. Yeah, you, you said it. You beat me to it, Sam. I've been at a lot of these U.S. championships. I'm a little older than you. Never 
have I seen a crowd stand up for an athlete like they just did after that performance. That was incredible. Immediately in unison. And you look around at some of the signs and you always get the. Try to listen in, can't quite pick up the conversation. You always get the let's go, Simone signs, but now you're getting the thank you for everything, Simone, all I around the arena. The respect and the appreciation. She talked a lot about that after classics, just how much that meant to her. And this routine was better, in my opinion, starting off with that really difficult skill. But her showmanship here, she looked a little bit more comfortable than day one. She looked like she was having more fun. And of course, check out this pass. Front layout full into an extremely difficult double-double. But check out this landing. Bam. Perfect. And then here's another highlight for me is just how precise these landings are for her. Her last pass, double layout floats down to a stuck position. She transcends the sport. 15 for the numbers. I mean, they're off the charts. She's going to win another U.S. all around title. But the people here, and there are more than 10,000 people in this arena. And yes, you have the gymnastics fans who 20 years yeah. from now are going to be talking about that night in San Jose when they watch Simone Biles win the national championship. But you also have other sports fans who may not even be gymnastics fans who are here just to have a chance to watch the greatest. Simone, a record eight national championships in the all around. Given everything that you've been through the last couple of years, how special is this one? I think it feels really special, especially since WCC, we have six athletes here. So I think that's super exciting as well. I mean, eight, I've been doing it for so long. I feel like I don't think about numbers. I think about my performance. And I think overall, I hit eight for eight. It's eight. I guess it's a lucky number this year. So last time I talked to you, I, I asked what drives you. And you said you have some personal goals. Can you share those with us? I like to keep them personal just so that I know what I'm aiming for. Just. Um, just, I think it's better that way. I'm trying to move a little bit differently this year than I have in the past, so I think it's working so far, so I'm going to keep it a little bit secretive. You don't want to tell us if Paris is one of those personal goals? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> All right, I'll let you off the hook. That standing ovation, I've been at a lot of these championships. I've rarely ever seen as special a moment as that. What was that like for you? It's really amazing. Everybody in here uh, believes in me, and my teammates believe in me, my coaches, my family, everyone. So I just need to start believing in myself a little bit more, but it feels amazing, and I, I love the fans. I love the crowd. It was really special. Awesome. Well, congratulations on number eight. Back to you guys.